I am very much honored to represent uh, UNICEF. Uh, myself, I work for UNICEF in Egypt, and my name is uh, Denise Ulwar, and uh, I am the Chief uh, Child Protection, but I am representing the uh, Regional Advisor uh, for the MENA region, uh, UNICEF uh, MENA region, Middle East and North Africa on this uh, uh, launch of the Arab Declaration on Belonging and Legal uh, Identity. So uh, in UNICEF, uh, we use the Convention on the Right of the Child as our reference document. And I am very pleased to see that uh, all uh, uh, the members of the League of Arab States have uh, ratified uh, the Convention on the Right of the Child, uh, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, promoting the legal identity to uh, all children, whether they are national of the countries or they are not national of the countries, so they have the right to uh, legal uh, identity. So, and also, uh, I am also very honored because uh, when we compare the data on uh, uh, the civil registration uh, between uh, the countries in the region of uh, Middle East and North Africa, and we compare the region of uh, uh, East Africa and Southern Africa, as well as uh, West and Central Africa, uh, we will see that the rate of uh, birth registration is very high in the Middle East. And uh, this is a kind of uh, good progress, which we can see, and especially in the wealthy quintile, in uh, the uh, countries uh, in uh, the uh, 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 um, Middle East and also the North Africa, uh, the rate of birth registration is 95%, which is a very good uh, rate of birth registration. Uh, UNICEF, we have collected uh, this data from uh, the household survey, which had been undertaken by you, the member state of the League of Arab States. So the data that I'm presenting are not coming from uh, us. Then, uh, but there is a problem. Uh, since 2000, uh, there is a stagnation on uh, the birth registration and uh, it's remaining at uh, that uh, same level and uh, it's very, very like alarming because uh, uh, in uh, UNICEF we have this principle of leaving no child behind. So having 95% uh, of the children registered and then 5% are not registered, it's still uh, an alarming issue and uh, this is something which uh, requires uh, progress. So also uh, uh, to address that issue, it's very important to look at uh, the interconnection between uh, the legal identity and birth registration as well as the health sector. Without the health sector, it will be difficult to like uh, cover this gap of uh, the 5% of the children who have not been registered. Like uh, if we look at in this region on uh, the vaccination, uh, we look at the vaccination on the uh, BCG, uh, we will see that 93% uh, of uh, children, they receive uh, this uh, vaccine. And we look at also the D uh, DTP1, uh, 93 p uh, children are uh, registered, uh, no, are, are receiving the vaccine, but when we look at uh, the birth registration, it's uh, 89%, which means that uh, there is a six point, uh, 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 the countries here in uh, the Middle East and the member state of the League of Arab States, uh, you need uh, to invest more on this, uh, this issue of uh, birth registration. And uh, I think my colleague, they have spoken very well about uh, the importance of uh, legal identity and birth registration is the first step uh, toward the legal identity. So, and it's something which is not only for 
uh, the national of uh, the countries of the member state of the League of Arab State. It also take into consideration those who are moving in uh, your countries. Maybe they are moving because they came like uh, to look for a job and then they get their children there. And maybe they move because of the conflict in their country. And uh, we know that there is the issue of uh, the climate change, which is pushing people to move uh, from one place to another one uh, for a better livelihood. So the recommendation is to look at your nationals, but not only uh, your nationals, to look also at uh, the non-national and uh, the refugees and migrants and the asylum seekers and those who are moving for other reasons. Like I, I give my example, I did not come here as a refugee. I came here as like uh, a worker in UNICEF. If I have a baby here, I think uh, Egypt uh, uh, has to cover my, my, my child. So this is uh, one of the comments I wanted to make. And uh, as I said from the beginning, it's important to twin uh, the health sector intervention. And you all know that in the health sector, when a baby is born, uh, there is this uh, certification which is done by the health sector. It will be important to make the link between this certification which is done at uh, the health sector or the hospitals or the health center and also the birth registration. This will allow uh, the countries, uh, the member state of uh, the League of Arab States to improve the rate of birth registration and to achieve those children, I, as I said, 89% uh, had been registered, but we still have like 11% uh, hanging. So it will be important to look at uh, at uh, this and also the other point is very uh, important in relation to education so the children they need to be registered and uh, it's a first step for the legal identity but it's important also for the right to education because the child has to be at a, a, like an important level when the child is in the school you cannot put a child who is uh, 12 years old uh, starting the kingdom kindergarten and this is why we need the birth registration or also you cannot put a child who is uh, five years old in the first grade because there is a problem with the uh, 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 mental uh, development the child will do good in school and then there will be stagnation in the development of the child and uh, also there is the issue of the fees uh, wave uh, which is important because this is one of the things which is preventing parents to go and to register their children at uh, like uh, the given, uh, uh, what can I say, uh, legal uh, timing for the registration. This is one of the things maybe the people who are from the poorest quintile, uh, they are not in a position to uh, uh, register their children. So uh, from uh, UNICEF side, we are standing ready to continue supporting the League of Arab State, and I think uh, the member state of League of Arab State, you have a UNICEF in all the countries, uh, in the Middle East and the North Africa, and uh, we are there to support you. We work together, uh, including, I can say, in Egypt. I don't know where is Egypt. Uh, we are here to work with you and to support you. Uh, in all those countries on uh, the civil registration. I want uh, to say again thanks uh, to our colleague from UNHCR and our colleague for UN Women. Uh, we are looking together at the same uh, situation. And to the UN Women, I just want to say when a mother is uh, going through a violence, the child is also victim. So we need really to team up together. We are already working very well with UNHCR. We need to continue to team up together. And to the League of Arab States, we are there. Uh, uh, our regional advisor sent his regard and uh, says uh, he's ready to support. He's standing uh, for the issue of legal identity and other issues which are affecting children. Shukran Katir, thank you very much.